Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, October 23rd, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called To Be Continued. I wonder if we're going to have some cliffhangers on the grid today. Alright, let's get started. One across. Shops. Hmm. I wonder if this is talking about the verb or the plural noun. I guess it could be buys, maybe? I'm not 100% sure about that answer. I'll blank it. Hmm. It's not I'll buy it. It's not I'll take it. Hmm. I'm really not sure about buys. Hold the rocks at a bar. That means no ice, so it's definitely not buys. Yeah, that should be no ice. Blows one's horn. Is this toots? That would be blowing one's horn. Shops, hmm. This looks a little strange. I almost wonder if we've run into a theme answer. Because our theme title was To Be Continued, I almost wonder if some of our answers are going to continue through some of these black squares. Instrument for Arachne in mythology. Well, she used a loom because she was a weaver. Symbol of bravery. That's got to be a lion. I'll blank it. Maybe it's I'll allow it. Hmm. Shops. Yeah, this is looking very, very weird. Wait a minute. I wonder if it could continue down. Hmm. We were saying it could be about cliffhangers, right? Maybe it's kind of like answers are literally dangling off the edge of a cliff. Interesting. Captcha confirmation. Hmm. Isn't that I'm not a robot? Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like this is continuing down, does it? Anti not a robot? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. But anti doesn't make sense here for shops. What's going on? I wonder if it continues this way. Pedaling. Hmm. Well, there is pedaling done at shops. That's kind of curious. Armed force at sea. And this is wordplay, so it's not going to be about a navy. I think this is going to be about a many armed force. That could be an octopus. That's a really cute clue. White Terrier informally. I'm really bad with dog breeds. Is it a Westie? I don't even know what that would be short for. Blank Toy Barn, where Emperor Zerg chases Buzz Lightyear. Oh man, um, this is, I think, Toy Story 2? It's Al's Toy Barn, right? Adds to a playlist, e.g. I want this to be cues. Yeah, you're adding it to the queue. Hmm. Pedaling. Doesn't this look like it's starting to continue through? It feels like it's going to be antique. Shops. Hmm. Pedaling. If this is continuing all the way through, none of these clues are going to really make sense. Is this a U? Sites in a funeral home. Well, it could be urns. That's where cremated people would be. I in the Aeneid. Hmm. I wonder if this is being tricky. I wonder if this is asking for the word I in Latin? Or maybe the letter I? I'm not sure exactly what that should be, but it feels like it's going for something like that. Natural instincts, that should be urges. Nephew of Abel? Um, hmm. Is it Enoch? I'm not great with biblical names. Maybe this is ego. That could be I in Latin, right? That kind of makes sense. Let's see if that's right. Partitioned. Is that sectioned? That does fit. Is this quest? We do have antiques here. That does make sense for to be continued. Um, hmm. Antique something. 
You know, I wonder if it's not just our answers that are going to be to be continued. I wonder if the clues are behaving that way too. Shops, peddling, collectibles. A kitchen might have a good one. Wait a minute. <laughs> it doesn't seem like this last one has anything to do with the first three. But it does seem like antique shops maybe would be an answer for shops peddling collectibles or maybe it's stores because we have shops here yeah antique stores that would fit anti-quest ores although ts hmm product launches made during sporting events and this is wordplay so this is not about new products being launched this is about something that's literally launched out of a cannon yeah it's gonna be t-shirts that's really funny. Person of the Year magazine, that's time. Juere speaking tribe. That's gotta be the Oto, that's the only thing that could fit here. Stellar, an equivalent phrase. Is that rad? They can help you get out of jams. Hmm. Is this talking about traffic jams? I don't know. Word on the street, perhaps. And this is more wordplay, so this is not about gossip. Word on the street. Hmm. Is it a word that would literally be painted on the street? I would want that to be stop. Hmm. One-eyed god of war. That's definitely Odin. Get out of jams. Hmm. Real. What is that? Hmm, I'm not sure what should go here. Big Froyo Franchiser. That's definitely TCBY. Hmm, does that help? Maybe this could be sincere. There we go. Is this like an edit button? What is going on here? Maybe this is taxi. This is a word you would hear someone shout on the street. Exit, hmm. Is it like an exit sign? An exit lane? Exit lanes? Maybe it is about traffic jams. Hockey. Hmm. Is there another word for hockey? Go lightly with along. Is it bob along? You'll have to pull some strings to play this. This is very funny. This is not about using influence to play something. I think this is literally pulling strings on a harp. So maybe this is bop along. I guess that makes sense. Hockey. I wonder if this is another to be continued clue. Although it doesn't seem like it. Historic hockey. Hmm, I don't know about that. Sound of sheer terror. And this is more wordplay. It's not sheer with two E's. It's not pure terror. This has to be about terror caused by maybe getting a haircut? Hmm, I don't know. Historic. The eye in the Iliad. Okay, I think this is the same type of joke, except it's not about I is in me. I think this is the Greek letter I. That could be iota, right? What is this? Sheer terror. Hmm. Epoch when the Mediterranean Sea nearly dried up. Well, I do know that happened a really, really long time ago. I don't know what the epoch was. Downsides. That could be cons. Whiz. We have to keep being careful about these potentially being to be continued clues. Although this could probably be an ace if you're really good at something. Disposal. Hmm. More wary. That could be cagier. Epoch. Uh, well, it probably ends in E-N-E, -E, like Pleistocene or Eocene or something. Neither of those fit, though. Hmm. I wonder if this is a theme answer. Is it possible that some of these clues would continue down also? I suppose we have to consider that as a possibility. Disposal, waste, disposal, locations. Ooh, we have another to be continued here. 
I think this has to be garbage dumps. Yeah. You know, I think we had a theme like this. It was a while ago, but I remember another theme where you had to combine three different clues to get the full clue to get the correct answer. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's also interesting that it doesn't go all the way across. We just get three, and then it looks like there's some normal clues on the other side. Let's see if we can build off of garbage here. It's a long story. That could be a saga. Fourth man to walk on the moon. Okay, well, it's not going to be Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin. I don't know if I know the fourth person to walk on the moon. Lower backbones. Ooh, I don't know if I know this. Does it end in S? Rice dish. That could be pilaf. Hmm. Standoffish is going to be aloof. The A in AD. That stands for Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. So that'll be Anno. Does that help on these downs? Alan something. Hmm. It wasn't Alan Shepard, right? I don't think that's right. Gain exclusive control business-wise. Is this going to be corner the market? That is a really nice long entry there. Uh, I think maybe I just don't know this word. Lower backbones. Sakra? Sokra? Hmm. None of those sound very familiar. Red or read? Hmm. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be continued. Read here to understand 23 answers in today's puzzle that don't seem to match their clues. <laughs> um, all right, so how are we going to describe this? Hmm, I wonder if it starts with let. Online pop-up generator. Is that going to be an add something? Din, racket. Yeah, that's a lot of noise. Adverb repeated in the Star Wars prologue. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Is it an ad page? I'm not sure about that. Disaster response org. That's going to be FEMA. Hmm. The P of EPS ratio on Wall Street. That is earnings per share. So that'll be per. The 76ers on scoreboards. They're in Philadelphia, right? So that would be... PHI, Mad Figure of Fiction. That could be the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Like some care services, maybe in home. Maybe this is adware. Hmm, I'm still not sure what this is gonna be. Read here to understand. Hmm, is it Alan Bean? That name is ringing a faint bell. So this would be Sakra. And then maybe this is between the lines. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense because you need to read between the lines. Read here. That's a really good revealer. Yeah, so we found a bunch of these. 23 answers. I guess they're probably counting all of these individually. So we have three here, we have three here, and we have five. Okay, well, we've got 11 already, so that means we just need to find 12 more. Excellent. Okay. Um, hmm. It looks like we're going to have them probably all in the bottom here. Headset. And this is wordplay, so this is not going to be about a pair of headphones. I wonder if it's going to be a set of something you have on your head? Like eyes or ears? None of those fit, though. Initialism aptly found in timetable. That could be an ETA. Hmm. Headset. What are they talking about? Tip top. That could be Acme. That's the peak or pinnacle. Totes? Why would that be a headset? Hmm. 
Website overseers, that's gotta be admins. Brain cases, is that crazies? Uh, that doesn't really fit, does it? Classes. Hmm, is this about types of something? I don't know. Tarnish EG. Tarnishing something would be an example of marring it. So tarnish could be mar, yeah. Finalized as a contract. That'll be inked. She might cry uncle. <laughs> this is not uncle as in you're giving up. Yeah, this is going to be a cry from a niece. That's pretty funny. Didn't make public for a while. That's got to be sat on. Is this crania? Oh my god, it's literally cases for your brain. That's much better. Classes. Oh, this has got to be a to be continued clue, right? Because this doesn't make sense. Classes for actors. Okay, and this does not count as part of it. So this has to be drama. Um, how would you describe classes? I'm not sure how the end is going to work. Idyllic spot. That's going to be Eden. Crossed out is X'd, probably. 1600 for the SAT informally. That's the max score you can get on the SAT. City east of Phoenix. There's a Mesa, Arizona. That showed up in our Hidden Cities theme a few weeks back. Verizon for one. Well, that would be a telephone provider. Is that close to what we need? I don't think so. Thief's Hall. Is that going to be loot? Does that make sense? I don't know. Purplish blue. I want that to be plum. Popular Korean minivan. Hmm. I really want this to be a Kia of some kind. That's a Korean car maker. Is this not plum? Dazzling. Hmm. Arctic coats. And this is not about a layer of frost? Calvin and Hobbes EG. Okay, well, Calvin and Hobbes were both cartoon characters, but they were also both kind of philosophers. Hmm. I wonder if they're making a joke about what country both of these men came from? I'm not sure what nationality both of these guys are. Hmm. Yeah, that's tricky. How perjurers might be caught. I really want this to be in a lie. Maybe this is not plum. This could be in a lie. Maybe this starts with Kia. Uh, dazzling. Hmm. That looks a little weird. Purplish blue. Hmm, I really don't know about that. I guess Thieves Hall could be a take, maybe? Arctic coats. Could that be parkas? That would fit. Dazzling. Uh, this looks so wrong. Hmm. Children's book series akin to Where's Waldo? That's probably I Spy. You're trying to find things on the page. Female nature deities. Is that nymphs? That would fit pretty nicely. Promotional overkill. That's got to be hype. And what is this? Like difficult water for boating. I think choppy water would make boating difficult. How many UN members have names starting with W? I guess it's going to be none. Are there really no members of the UN? that start with W, that's funny. And then we should be able to get this. It is exit lanes, oh my God, that's so funny. Hockey. Uh. Oh, maybe this continues this way. Oh man, maybe they kind of alternate. Historic hockey upset, oh my God. Yeah, that's the miracle on ice, right? Um, when was that? 1980 or 1984? It was one of those years. The US beat the Soviet Union in the Olympic hockey tournament? Yeah. Wow, okay. Having overexercised, maybe. That could be achy. 
Excellent. You know what? I'm really glad they're using the right side of the grid too. I was thinking it was kind of strange that all of the theme answers kind of ended around the middle of the grid and this was all going to be just regular answers. So I'm glad they're kind of having some of the theme on this side as well. A kitchen might have a good one. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going for here. Like Superman, but not Spider-Man. Hmm. What do they have that's different? I mean, Superman's an alien. I don't know. African animal that may be spotted or striped. That's going to be a hyena. Blank gun, alien zapper. That's a ray gun. Superman should know about those. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be an aroma. Yeah, if you're cooking something good in the kitchen. Hmm. When the lighting of the Olympic cauldron happens, is it going to start with one? One month beforehand? That doesn't fit. Hmm. Wolf to a shepherd. I guess a wolf would be a menace to a shepherd. A penny saved is a penny earned and others. Those are adages. Yeah, that's one by Ben Franklin. What in the world? Oh, it's caved. Yeah, Spider-Man does not have a cave. Okay, this looks like it's going to start with opening. Uh, yeah, maybe it's opening ceremony. There we go. Yeah, I guess the thing that happens weeks before the Olympics is the relay with the Olympic torch, right? But the lighting of the cauldron would happen during the opening ceremony. Okay. Like Thor, Thor is Norse. And we have ones, low scoring Yahtzee category. Yeah, I guess you don't want to roll ones in Yahtzee. Lionel Messi's homeland, abbreviated. Yeah, he's from Argentina. A charismatic person has one. Is that an aura? Yeah, they have a charming aura. Capital on the Arabian Peninsula. I know I've heard of a Muscat. I'm not sure which country this is in. Some barbecue flavored fast food sandwiches. Well, I'm not gonna know this one. Things believers believe. Uh, this is looking like it's gonna be creeds. Yeah, that's gonna be part of a belief system. Letters near a conveyor belt. What is this? TS? Oh, maybe it's TSA. Yeah, it's a conveyor belt at the airport. NIH standard. That's probably an RDA. I always forget what this stands for. I used to think it was recommended daily allowance, but I think it's like recommended dietary amount or something like that. Yeah. Totals. I think this is going to be not a plural noun, but a verb. I think this is going to be adds up to... Yeah, okay. One time radio host Don. Yeah, that's Don Imus. Generator. Hmm, is this like an electric generator? I don't know if that's right. Actually, this is starting to look like it might be a theme answer. Let's see. Dazzling pattern generator. Yeah, there we go. That's why this was looking so weird. A dazzling pattern generator is going to be a kaleidoscope. Let's see if I can spell kaleidoscope. Um, hmm, what is the vowel here? Is it an A? I'm not sure. This is going to be a scope. Uh, is it an A or an O or an E? Oh my god, it could be anything. Blank Mary. Hmm, what is this? Word with nursing or training. That could be a nursing bra or a training bra. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Head in slang. Uh, is that a knob? What is this? Makes beloved. Is that endears? Maybe it is a knob. What is this? Uh, hmm. 1998 film Waking Blank Divine. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Ted or Ned. Is it Ned or Ted? Hmm. I want to say it's an N. Country with more than a hundred active volcanoes. I definitely don't know this for sure, but I'm going to guess it's Indonesia. Just because I think there's a lot of volcanoes in that part of the world. 
Thieves Hall. Yeah, maybe it is a take. Purplish blue. Oh, is that iris like the flower? It's a move on. That's got to be Hustles. So this is Pals. Oh, they were talking about the comic strip characters. That's great. Those are two of my favorite characters. All right. Uh, hmm. Maybe this is Bloody Mary. There we go. Finally. And I think this is going to be Knob for your head. Is this another theme answer? I don't think so. Xmas for Justin Trudeau. Okay, so this is, what, a Canadian word for Christmas? Do they have another word for it? Uh, I don't think I knew that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, this is not a theme answer. D-worthy. That's going to be poor as a grade. Number listed on the inside of car doors often. Ooh, what is this? It's not a pin number. Hmm, actors. Is this a theme answer? Oh yeah, it is. It's classes for actors. Is it dramatic scenes? No, that doesn't fit. Hmm, apt rhyme for pyre. Well, a pyre is a big fire, so I think fire makes sense. Number, maybe it's PSI. Yeah, they tell you how much to inflate your tires. How many PSI, pounds per square inch. Hmm, maybe this is drama sessions? No, that doesn't fit either. Drama lessons, there we go. Okay, finally. <laughs> and then, hardly genteel. Well, genteel means you're kind of mannered and refined. So maybe this could be boorish. You're boorish and rude. Yeah, that's great. That's a great bit of fill. Stocking stuffers. I guess this is not going to be about something Santa would put in your stocking for Christmas for B-Day. Oh, maybe he was born on Christmas. That's his birthday. Okay, good. I was getting a little worried that I'd never heard of the Canadian word for Christmas. Okay, so this is going to be feet instead, those kind of stocking stuffers. Hmm. It is some kind of telephone thing. Safe harbor. Is that a cove? I don't know if that's right. Tape player of a sort in brief. That could be a VCR. Last O in YOLO. You only live once. What is this? Kia Sedona? I feel like maybe I've heard of that. Is this a telecon? Home. I think this is going to be our last theme answer. Home decorating guru. Uh, is it Martha Stewart? Oh man, that's great. Martha Stewart. I feel like she's perfect for this time of year. We're all doing an autumn theme in our houses this time of year. This is a telecom. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh man, I don't know why I thought it was an N. Okay, Dunderhead, that could be an ass, <laughs> just like yesterday's puzzle. Rough Rug Fiber. Uh, I don't know if I know this one. Italian Automaker. That's gotta be Fiat, that's an Italian Automaker. Let me repeat an equivalent phrase. I said, hmm, I want this to be an L. I feel like I've seen the word Sissel before. Get over it. And this is an exclamation mark clue, so we need something you would literally get over. Um, maybe that could be a hurdle. That is very funny. It was Sissel, that's good. Sweetie Pie could be Hun, that's another pet name. Get off birth control, and this is wordplay. So this is not about the pill, that kind of birth control. This is spelled B-E-R-T-H, so this has to be about a ship. Yeah, hmm. Maybe this is about a ship leaving harbor? Get off birth control. Maybe this is like unmoor? Yeah, you're like undocking your ship? Hmm, that's pretty tricky. Let's see if that's right. Actress Catherine, who starred as Kevin's mom in Home Alone. I love that movie. Yeah, that's Catherine O'Hara. Red or white wood? Uh, hmm. It's not ochre, is it? Prepare to pray, say. 
Hmm. Uh, shouldn't that be Nelt? Maybe it's not Unmoor. Maybe it's Undock instead. Yeah, that's the same idea. And this will be Nelt. Okay. Red or white. That's got to be Cedar, right? Yeah. Unwritten say could be Oral, as a test might be. Put cargo on is going to be laid. That's another kind of shipping term. What is this revitalize? That's got to be freshen. Device providing oversight. And this is wordplay. So I guess this is not about some kind of monitoring device. Maybe it's something you would use to actually see over something else? Oversight. Hmm. It almost looks like it's going to be a phone, right? Why would a phone provide oversight? I don't really get this one. Al blank, pasta specification. This is going to be al dente. That's when your pasta is still very firm. Hmm, okay, so this is not a phone. Oversight, hmm. What kind of device is this? Nice and slow. How Usher wants to take it in a 1998 number one hit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Nice and slow. Synthetic fiber. Shouldn't that be rayon? Oh yeah, this is going to be a drone that would literally provide you sight over something else from above. And this will be seen in the public eye. Excellent. Well, I don't want to leave you on a cliffhanger. Let's throw this N in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 47 minutes. That's about average for us for a Sunday solve. I really ended up liking this read between the lines theme after we got it all figured out. Yeah, there are 23 answers that don't match their clues today, and you have to read them between the lines in order to make sense of them. Shops peddling collectibles are antique stores. Yeah, and we got a bunch more of these. These were all a lot of fun. Miracle on Ice, Garbage Dumps, Kaleidoscope, Drama Lesson, and Martha Stewart. We got a bunch of other really nice long fill too. I really liked Corner the Market. I'm Not a Robot is a great modern piece of fill. Opening Ceremony, that's a nice partner for the Miracle on Ice here. And Nice and Slow, that's also a good way to solve crossword puzzles on a Sunday. I also really liked the handful of wordplay clues we got today. I thought this was very clever. Undock, get off birth control. And this was hilarious. Product launches made during sporting events. T-shirts, yeah, t-shirt cannons. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed reading between the lines with me today. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.